We've been investigating the town of Mockton, and we've been wondering what caused the town to flood. Yesterday, you were collecting some evidence and thinking about that. We have a tool with a model of showing how the water's flowing. And today, as a science community, you guys are going to talk about your claim and your thinking. Claims, evidence, and reasoning is a kind of talk that teachers are pretty familiar with about supporting kids in classrooms. We are trying to show a different version other than just CER. What is model-based CER? How do you root claims inside of a model? They're usually modeling and argumentation together, and in that way, these practices co-develop, where they get to get better at scientific modeling and drawing what they can see and what they can't see, along with developing much richer scientific claims over time. But didn't Ms. Buzz say that the water can't just go in one way, it has to spread? Mm -hmm. What we've seen in our research is that the number one way to support ideas in traveling is through tools. And so the kinds of tools that Kitten was using today, she had a model scaffold, she had lots of sentence stems, those are all pieces that support a particular kind of talk. Like, we're working on spaces, too. It can go through the spaces from here and go... And it always has to, like, stop someplace, too. It can just, like, keep going. We started doing some zoom-in models, so we started zooming in on a part of the initial model. We wanted students to start focusing more on the glacial moraine, and so we started. We did a, another type of model that zoomed in on just on the mountain that was next to the town to help support their thinking about what was going on uh, next to the dam. Well, it can also squeeze through stuff. Yeah. We had sentence stems that were helping in how to talk about their ideas. Those were within partner talk and within classroom discussions and in helping them create their arguments as well. I want you to add a because. This is a why question today. So your sentence will be a because sentence. So this is a because question today of why the water went. It's not just where it went and what it did. Today it's going, we're pushing you a little bit more to think about why did that happen. What if this mountain was mostly made out of maybe just pebbles or mostly made out of mainly just sand. So we've done some experiments to help us understand how water flows through some of these materials. And now we're thinking about this claim, if we can create a claim, and thinking about if the glacier left mostly some kind of this material, then the water can go faster or slower to the town. So if then statements help students understand that there's a cause and effect, and in thinking about different conditions, it helps them in, a, explain that there, there's lots of different science ideas that could be happening to explain a phenomena, and so they're thinking about a specific condition that, that could happen, and that that's the cause. We decided um, to do this one. So if the glacier left, Mostly, Mostly sand, sand and some pebbles, some pebbles in the mountain. Because, like... Then, so what's happening if it leaves mostly? There's a hole in the mountain and the water's going through the sand. It's, like, soaking, so it probably takes a long time. So are you choosing about the wa then the water can go faster or slower to the town because? Or are you going to talk about the more or less water can go to the town because. This so, one. So you're going to say? Then the water can go fast or slower. Fast, slower. Which one? Fast, oh, slower. Slower. slower to, to the, the town, town because. because. So that's what I want you to be adding on there. How do we know that? So I know this because. Is there some, something, an activity that we've done or some reading that would help support this idea? Because remember, we're talking about a claim is an answer to a scientific question in order to convince other scientists. So this is your claim, but now we need to convince the other scientists some of the evidence that we've collected. I know this because the sand went slower than the soil, the 
time of the sand is 52 seconds, and the soil was faster. They make claims at the beginning of a unit, and then they constantly revise them over time. And they're, they're amounting evidence and weighing evidence throughout the entire unit. But it's all done within the drawing of a scientific model. We're working on scientific modeling and argumentation, K2. With all of these tools and scaffolds, we can support reasoning in very young children. Kids naturally are curious. They ask wonderful questions. Um, they ask five whys. We are now just making our instruction match the best of what they're capable of. And when we do that at the early age, we're going to be floored at what they're capable of by the time they get to high school. They thought it was going very lightly, but it went a lot. Yeah.